The open country of North Central Texas is where you'll find J.A. Ranch, James Ruder Bright and his wife Linda, along with son J.K. and daughter-in-law Liz, run more than 850 cows and yearlings on the same land Ruder's grandfather bought more than 80 years ago. We've had this in our family since 1929. Up until 20 years ago, the base ranch was 2,875 acres, all was foreclosures and bankruptcies. And actually, the last, next to the last property added was a foreclosure, and we just it, you don't get land that's in the best of condition under the, when you take them in that, that manner. But somebody's going to take it. We've taken it and made the best of it. I started purchasing cattle when I was in high school and actually bought the land in 74. So I've, I've owned it ever since then. Gentle handling of the cattle and the land are hallmarks of the Bright family stewardship. Their cattle work as a tool to manage the range for optimum health. I don't think we can have what we have here without using cattle. I think cattle are an integral part of grazing this resource. The Brights have installed miles of cross fencing to help them use intensive rotational grazing as a key factor in weed control and maintaining high quality native vegetation. We would have nothing to show if we didn't use the rotational grazing. That, that's, that's the pivotal point of everything we do. You know, the cattle, they're secondary. The, the grass is our product. The cattle are harvesting machines, and that's what we walk to market. And we have to take good care of them, but our base resource is this grass. That's what holds the whole world together. At the beginning of his ranching career, Ruder consulted with the local NRCS office for conservation planning and technical assistance. The J.A. Bright Ranch has had an active conservation plan in place since 1964. My father started working with, it. back then it was soil conservation service and it transitioned into NRCS back in the late 80s. I'm good at what I do, but they have people that have areas that that's all they do. And bringing their expertise in and working with what I do and, and bouncing ideas off each other. They learn a little bit from me, I learn a lot from them and we refine what I'm trying to do. If you flew over this place in an airplane and you looked at surrounding acreage, surrounding ranches, this ranch would just pop to the top because of the, the range condition, the quality of grass, the diversity, the lack of noxious brush, and where the, it's a balance between grass and timber and water. It's a, it's a show place. Keeping water resources clean is a key focus on J.A. Ranch as well. Since the 1990s, the Brights have voluntarily worked with a self-imposed water quality management plan that ensures clean runoff from their pastures. This is especially important because J.A. Ranch is within the Trinity River watershed, which supplies water to 11 million citizens from Dallas to Houston. We developed a water quality management plan where we addressed all the issues on the ranch that could, could possibly lead to any kind of contaminants leaving this ranch. Everything that we do upstream of, of everybody else, it's, uh, you know, it's paramount to, to what happens downstream. You know, if we just, uh, you know, all this good grass out here, filtering all the water and, you know, everything else that goes on makes, makes a big difference. A director of the Texas and Southwest Cattle Raisers, Ruder also serves on NCBA's Natural Resource and Environment Committee and has led conservation and stewardship education efforts at the local, state, and national levels. We're proud of what we're doing and sharing that with other people. And I go on other tours at other people's places and we talk about this stuff. And I've seen some of my neighbors improve what they're doing because of what we're doing. So. This, this, this transcends our property line. It goes across, and, and the further it goes, the better. That's, we want people to understand that, that there's a better way of doing it, there's an easier way of doing it, and, and the, the rewards are greater. So that, that's what it's all about. Ruder and his family have a deep-rooted sense of responsibility, and J.A. Ranch is a shining example of how sound grassland, livestock, and wildlife management can work together with good conservation practices. I'm proud to see what all uh, my father's achieved out here, and his father, and and uh, you know I want to be the, the one to step up and you know and take the reins and and carry us into the future. So it's uh, it's. It's a beautiful thing when you, when you look out and you see everything coming together like this. You know, 
my mother told me something not too many years before she passed away. She said, you know, you can take care of your land or God will take it away from you. We have an obligation to ourselves, to our family, and to society to take care of this land. Thank you.